Okay, assalamu alaikum and uh, very good morning <coughs> to all. Uh, welcome to the uh, new semester and uh, some introduction of the uh, deep water activity or uh, offshore activities and uh, making concept. So the objective of this course, which I can summarize with my earlier. So the, we will start with the definition and concepts of offshore structure. As I say, difference between shallow water and deep water as briefly I have explained to you. An overview of environmental loading because uh, whenever we are going to the offshore regime, right? So uh, whenever uh, we are on onshore, as uh, last semester, right? I have uh, discussed in my part, right? Uh, in appraisal. So other than the live load and dead load and temperature load, so uh, the the environmental kind of loadings are there, which is uh, fire loading or the earthquake and wind loading, blast, right? So that we have discussed uh, last semester, right? So these kind of loadings are always there in offshore as well. But on top of that, the most important loading which are always there are the condition conditions which are uh, loading from the uh, uh, because the floating or flowing water. So <coughs> whenever we are uh, talking about the offshore right development, right including deep water or shallow water. So this is the highlighted one right, for the seeking energy sources, right? And for seeking energy sources, this is our scope. Right, so the, we have to build a structure and maintain a structure, even infrastructure, which is this pipeline or mobile infrastructures, which is like ships or uh, the uh, container ships or so on for uh, near distance or uh, intercontinental movement of the energy resources. So this is basically our scope of this subject, and we would like to understand of oil and uh, gas activities. Right, so whenever we are talking two things, right. Exploration and production, right? So whenever we are talking exploration, so uh, for even oil and gas, so exploration means first of all it is start with search, right? Uh, for ONG sources, right? So this is the search. After search, uh, which means it is discover. Right, the, and after uh, discovery, right, we can assessment of reserve, which means you have to estimate the f and feasibility. Right, then if feasible, then we will go for engineering. Where it will come, yes, right. So I will explain this part, right? When it, which is being given. So first of all, uh, we have to go exploration. Exploration, uh, as I said, it start with the discovery, search for oil and gas, right? So with exploration, the first thing we are looking, right? Uh, in uh, fifty meter kilometer by fifty kilometer, which are the main pockets. Right, the actual location of the pocket. Uh, first of all, whether there is oil and gas. So we say, uh, as I said, uh, if this whole right whiteboard on my hand is uh, the block area, right? You consider this is the whole block area. So uh, with our study, right? We say this is one, this is two, this is the three spot, right? These are the three spot where the uh, the exploratory well study. Uh, and all other uh, drilling studies uh, shows that uh, there is oil, right? So this is the initial discovery. And after this initial discovery, then uh, we have to know more, right? Because then we will go for the feasibility, right? What is the technology needed? Right? We have to estimate this the size of this reservoir, right? Uh, let's say uh, with this test and model, right? So there are techniques like I will show seismology is one of the technique which we will do initially then we will go for the drilling well right so we will have to make an estimate right estimate again there are models and models are being also be improving that we can make an estimate there will be this much uh, barrel of oil right and this uh, based on the most advanced available technology this much oil can be pumped every day right so uh, and that would be the uh, cost of pumping and maintaining this Right. So whenever we are doing this feasibility and we will be and then we will go for the oil economics, right? Because every discovery is not feasible. Oil economics, which means that we will look modeling for next 10 or 20 years. And we can see the uh, the expected 
uh, variation in the uh, oil prices in international market and as you know that uh, oil economy is pretty much depending on to the uh, world conditions right uh, the world peace condition so world prosperous condition right war like condition or uh, the conditions like pandemic and other conditions so the oil prices jitter a lot right so uh, again the economic economic expert they play an important role those are expert in dealing with the oil economics right it is a uh, trade oil economy so they can say that uh, the, the with uh, if this is uh, the oil reserves are there and this much oil can be pumped based on the technology and th those will be expenses right uh, this and those will that would be the expected income based on various scenarios right so uh, they do the oil economic scenario analysis for 10 years or 5 years and based on scenario analysis under the worst scenario so oil company say if the there will be 10 to 15% profit in uh, tapping the oil then you we can the decision makers decide yes we can go otherwise uh, we don't want to tap the oil right? because now the uh, in the second part of uh, this lecture so in the first part we have make our concept what are the activities right now which uh, i have given you the um, activities for the exploration right and uh, a little bit on production that we will discuss so once uh, as we say uh, we will go for the uh, permanent structure or temporary structure for drilling well right so because we have to do these activities we have to uh, build certain structures and it is underwater so or in the offshore region so in the second part we will go an overview of the structures what is their uh, uh, no uh, what is their chronology configuration what is nomenclature of a structure and what are the requirement right so in general we will take an overview first right so offshore structures are large platform plates because the structures are needed we need the platform we need some area right for example you are setting up refinery or, or even the offshore so you need a land right platform right where you can say this will be the storage tank there will be compressor area there will be control room right so you need an area so in offshore region uh, there is water right for example in this there is uh, this water right and uh, you need one structure so you need one platform right which means a uh, 100 meter by 100 meter 200 meter by one area surface right on to that surface you can see you need this is the drilling zone you put the drilling thing the derrick or something uh, this is the pumping area this is the uh, electrical thing and because it is offshore people have to this is living quarter right this is control room so on so forth so you need a area and this area is a platform and this platform need to be supported by the ground so this is platform and this is the support when we are talking offshore structure uh, including foundation right so we are talking these three things platform is at which we can make our building right we can make our we can house our activity and platform which is over the water surface so it should be supported by some structure right so that is make which is make rigid or which is make is floating right this platform will be floating or it is rigid which means depending on to this support this support will be rigid or this support will be flexible right like the mooring line and the foundation where it is to be connected with sea bottom so whenever we are talking about offshore structure which we mean that thing right so offshore structure are large platform that primarily provide the necessary facilities and equipment for exploration and production of oil and natural gas in a marine environment during the initial prospecting phase uh, so again now these structures are needed for different phases right uh, offshore installation of the jacket and topside lifts require near perfect conditions so once the lifting operation are complete the jacket topside secured then then there is very little follow on work which is at risk so final commission and startup required checking for transport damage anything right because during transportation we have to take any distresses happen losing of bolt pipe joint etc before final commissioning right and then uh, as uh, the change of physical effect with increasing water depth right so th these are the features right which uh, will be uh, uh, helping us or understanding of such features will help us for uh, designing retaining uh, the particular type of offshore structure so 
the uh, physical effects which will be physical effect which will be hitting right which will be happening around the structure so we are talking physically uh, what is uh, happening like the wave right the, if this is the structure so the water is flowing right there are two things whenever we are talking wave and current right in the water so uh, it is again mm -hmm. the difference between wave and current right so if we will be taking let's say this is the body of water right so due to wind or due to so the top part right the top part uh, of the water of there will be mass movement of water so this is being moving from here this is simply the wave right and because of this and this is not the overall depth this may be some upper part of the water right so there will be but the current which is the circulation of water particle from top to bottom right so it is the localized movement of water particle circulation this is current right i just uh, uh, explained to you uh, current sometime you can take a glass jar you put water you put on the stove so you can see right when it will become hot so some bubbles are moving up and down right into the glass jar which you can monitor right which you can see so this is current so the current is uh, again it is the uh, moving of particle but it is localized movement and the wave is the mass movement of water and it will move further right so this will be happening both current and wave they will be passing right so they will affect right they will uh, physically affect the structure right so we would like to see that uh, what will be their effect when the water depth is increasing right so the since we know that uh, the wave is the top mass top water mass which is moving forward right so effect from wave not change with water depth right because it is just like the top 5 meter 10 meter right what is the significant wave height right so the uh, effects of this uh, happening will not be uh, affecting on to the structure right but uh, so but the current which is being changing with water depth right so because current is uh, the velocity of the water particle right which is circulating along this so if the water depth is this so that will be significantly effects right what you can say the vibration right the water circulation right circulation so that will be current acting through the whole water column increase the water depth will increase significantly effects on the structure right so like in deep water so the current like the riser design or, or the pipeline design so the current will significantly effects right so a strong and complex current profile will cause the more challenges and issues right and increase importance if current load and load effects which is vortex induced vibration so what is this uh, right so the the current will cause the with this object so that the vortices like the contours will so the current uh, will effects uh, with the uh, increase water depth so that the effects may become significant length of structure effect which is hydrostatic pressure right gamma times h right the hydrostatic pressure gamma is the density of water h is the depth of water so depth of water will be uh, greater so gamma h will be higher right so the hydrostatic pressure will be increased so the size of the structure will be different that's why when we are saying deeper water the jacket like platform is not effective because uh, the, the effects of current will increase the the hydrostatic pressure will increase so the size of the leg will be uneconomical right the, it will be the costlier solution right so increase weight and loads on the subsystem increase hang of loads right because uh, on their increased system flexibility complex installation and uh, retrieval operation so these are the length effects right temperature so again uh, when you are going deeper so the temperature gradient right for example Ar arabian gulf surface temperature is 50 degree c right and 1 km deep water so the temperature may be uh, close to mi uh, minus or uh, for example or even 10 degree c so the temperature difference and the steel structure length effect so uh, the the uh, delta t and coefficient of thermal expansion will cause the significant effects onto your design right so the temperature will also change the design so low ambient temperature below 0 degree c may occur right in deeper water so increase re risk of hydrate formation right because uh, the, the the deposition right mitigation and remediation important right so that is the lower part 